Hey everybody, it's Steve here. Uh, and Oscar, he's uh, hanging out over there. Um, it's, uh, it's that time again. Um, finished another video game, uh, Mega Man. Obviously that's up on the, on the channel here. And um, so, uh, as promised, uh, I'm going to try and do uh, you know, one of these kinds of videos uh, in between each game. So, uh, so here I am. Um, I, I, I don't have much to talk about, like I always say, but I, I guess I'm just going to launch right into a, you know, kind of a, I don't know, a random topic, because um, I really don't know how else I'm going to slip this into any kind of general conversation. Um, <laughs> this going to be silly, but w what's the deal with like ridiculously long receipts at stores, okay? Uh, now this one doesn't even... <coughs> do justice to what I'm talking about, but, you know, this is from, this is from a bagel store, okay, where all I purchased was a bagel and a drink, okay, and I get a receipt this long. Um, I think uh, the ones I get <coughs> from Best Buy are even longer. Why do I need all of this, especially when all I bought consists of, like, you know, that part of it? Why do I need all of this? What is all of this? You know, call this number, visit our website, uh, <coughs> And I think my problem with it is that um, when I'm in line at a store or wherever, and I'm trying to be like considerate of the people behind me. I mean, not to mention the waste of you know paper or whatever that this represents. But uh, so as I'm uh, getting cashed out, and this thing is printing out and printing and printing and printing, and I'm just like, come on already. And then you get it, and I'm trying to like get out of the way for the next person behind me if there is somebody there. That you know, then you gotta like fold it up and mash it up and wad it up and and, and stuff it in your pocket and uh, it, it it's it just seems like receipts are getting longer and longer and uh, you know I, I just don't get it and I don't know where that came from it was something that came up Tuesday and I thought uh, you know there's something I can talk about um, you know when I do one of these videos and uh, and that's it you know trying to be considerate and move out of the way for other people but you've got to wad up. A, a receipt that's like a mile long, um, you know, because not everyone is considerate when it comes to that kind of thing, like uh, like the lottery people, as I like to refer to them. Don't get me started on the lottery people. You know, I I, I, I try to be as you know forgiving as the next person, but uh, you know when you're in line in the store and you walk up there and you've got your lottery tickets and you've got to cash them all in, and they've got to scan them all to see if any of them are winners, and if some are, then they, how much money you're getting. But then they turn around, and the lottery people, what they do is that then, you know, they, they, they take the money that they won, and they use that money to buy more tickets. Uh, the, the dispenser, the, they're on like rolls in like a plastic cabinet, uh, plexiglass cabinet, and they're on rolls, and <clears throat> they're usually like off to the side so the person doesn't know which tickets they want, which scratch off tickets they want so they gotta walk down a few steps to the left or to the right and uh, you know give me a number uh, 10 and one number and it just takes forever and then there are those that once they get their new tickets and have paid for them or used the money that they won in exchange for the tickets, they'll stand there and start scratching them off right there at the counter. And it's like, you know, I know times are tough and, and money's tight, whatever, but can you not stand there scratching off your lottery tickets? Could you take it someplace else? I, it, it, it's inconsiderate to the people behind you. And, um... I probably just offended anyone who plays, you know, or plays scratch-off tickets or plays the lottery who's watching this right now, but I, I've kind of reached my, my, my breaking point a long time ago with, with lottery people. Having said that, as I've said before, I'm, I'm no Mr. Perfect here. Because um, what I'm thinking right now is that when I'm trying to hurry and get out of the way, I didn't check the time again. That's going to be the reoccurring theme of these videos, me not checking the time. Anyway, you know, um, yes, uh, part, of me, it, part of the reason I'm hurrying is because I'm considerate of those behind me and I want to get out of their way so that they can move up. <clears throat> but I guess the other part of it, really, 
and it's probably even a bigger reason is that uh, I, I find that um, this is going to sound terrible, but I just don't like being around people, especially strangers. I don't like being around people. I don't like being around strangers, and I feel like when I'm in their presence, um, I'm hurrying just to hurry up and get away from them. Is really what it is. Um, I uh, I get very uncomfortable uh, around people, and I'm usually just trying to hurry and, and get away from them, basically. So yeah, I'm, I am being considerate of those behind me in line, but I'm also trying to hurry just to just to get out of that awkward feeling, that uncomfortable feeling that I get when I'm around people. And these giant ass receipts don't help. You know, you hear that printer and it's just going and going and going. And it gets to the point where I almost want to tell them, you know, keep the receipt, I don't need it. I don't know. Um, wow, that was quite the tirade, wasn't it? Where'd that come from? Um, yeah, I, I, it's, uh, I guess the topic for this video then would be um, not so much receipts and lottery people, but I guess it would be um, my uh, insecurities and my uh, and my inability to to be in the presence of strangers for too long. I'm very distrusting. I'm very leery of people. I'm always looking around me, and I don't know. I think in another previous video I said that I wasn't paranoid, but I guess in a you know denial is a wonderful thing, and I guess I guess I really am in a way. I just uh. I get very uncomfortable around people and I don't want to be around them for too long and so I'm always hurrying you know, I'll, I'll, I'll talk fast and I'll, I'll do my business whatever I'm doing at that store or whatever, wherever I am I'll try and do it fast so I can get out of there <coughs> uh, just so I can just uh, avoid being around people I don't know Here's yet another video that I probably shouldn't upload because it just sounds terrible. It makes me sound, uh, you know, like a real winner here. Instead of a, you know, big loser. I don't know. Um, I, God, I'm still all itchy. Um, anyone watching this who doesn't know me, um, I, I work at an animal hospital. And, uh, and this is probably going to... Anyone who doesn't work in, in that line of work probably gets grossed out by a lot of things that we have to deal with on a pretty regular basis. It's that time of the year for fleas, and we're seeing a lot of animals come through um, with fleas. And, uh, and um, Before I even see a single flea on an animal, I know if they've got them or not. I know they do because I instantly, if I walk into the room you know, with the animal and, and, and I just instantly get itchy, I can just feel that itchiness coming out. And then sure enough, as we're going about our business, you find out that the animal's got fleas. And uh, it's just a feeling that stays with me for, for like hours where I, just, I, I feel itchy. Ugh. So um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like a flea detector, you know? I really am. Even when there's clearly nothing there, you know? I, I just, I just, you, it's just this feeling that you get this, um, you're just aware of their presence. Man, this video is gonna make me sound. <laughs> it's just gonna make me sound horrible. I swear. Um, it's not uh, painting me in a very good light, so I'm probably gonna wrap it up. Um, so I guess um, on to business or business or fun or whatever you wanna call it. Um, I am working on um, recording uh, the next video game. Um, it is. Uh, it's no secret. It's Metroid, the original Metroid. Um, obviously, anybody who's played that game knows that it's a very um, the, the, the level, the, the world, the map, the levels are very complex and you can get lost really easily. It's been a long time since I've played it, so I want to make sure I've got my route planned out properly. I have been recording some of it. So far, so good. But I think I want to get the whole thing recorded before I start uploading any of it. So in the meantime, while I'm working on that, I think I'll probably move on, not move on, but do a side project, kind of. Um, and I guess the next would probably be you know, one that's quick and easy and uh, not, uh, not too demanding. And that would probably be this game right here, uh, Super Mario Bros. 2, the American version. Um, we'll talk about the difference between the American version and the Japanese version, um, you know, 
in my commentary for the game, so we'll talk about that later. Um, so uh, Mega Man is up and done. Uh, feel free to watch it. Thank you if you do. Um, and uh, be on the lookout for um, either Metroid or Super Mario 2, uh, whichever I get around to uploading first. Um, if it's Super Mario 2, I'll probably start getting the first few parts of that up uh, over the weekend. Um, if it's Metroid, then it's probably going to be like another week or so. Maybe not. I'm probably making it sound worse than it really is, but um, it'll be a little bit longer if I choose to go with Metroid first. So, I feel like I'm talking really fast. Um, uh, yeah, I've been going for almost 10 minutes now, so I'm going to um, say uh, take it easy. Have a good day if you're watching this. Um, at this point, I don't know who is, honestly. Um, well, you know, other than the, the, the usual suspects. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, take it easy. Have a good day. Um, take care of yourselves. And for me and Oscar over there, peace.